William. Hi, Miss Wagner. How are you? Good. Good. I got that writing that you sent to me yesterday. Did you send that with your cell phone or did your mom send it to me? Um, my mom sent it to you. Awesome. Is it okay if I share my screen so I can show you what I saw? Mm -hmm. Do you have your writing with you? Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm going to share my screen for a second and you're going to see your writing because I took that message that your mom sent and I put it right here so that I could look at it too, okay? Does that look familiar? Yeah. Yeah, is that what you have on your desk too? Uh-huh. Perfect. All right, can you go ahead and read to me what you wrote? One day I was going to... One day I was going to summer camp at the rec center. There is a big forest there. There are a ton of baby acorns on the trees. One of the trees died is and is now just a pile of wood chips. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that with me. Looks like you have an entire paragraph there. That's great. One thing I wanted to know is what you wanted help with with writing. Is there something that you wanted to focus on? I'm really bad at like making um, like capital letters when I'm supposed to. I'm like that. You know, I'm looking at this and you did a pretty good job with that. Can I remind you of a couple of things that we've been working on in class together? Mm -hmm. okay, do you remember these? These are from our writing class and these are some of our things that we've been studying. So we looked at choosing a topic and focusing. And I actually think you did a really good job with both of these things. You chose a topic that you were an expert at that summer camp, and you picked just one part of summer camp. So you didn't focus on the whole thing. You focused just on the forest. And you did add lots of facts, but I'm wondering if we could focus in on maybe adding action facts. Do you think that would be a good thing? Yeah. All right. So wonderful. So we'll, we'll look at adding action facts. Can we start by, rem I want to remind you about that story that we read just a few days ago in our read aloud. Do you remember this one by Gail Gibbons, Dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah. So if you look at here, let's read what she wrote. One of the very biggest of all dinosaurs was Brachiosaurus. It stood about 40 feet tall and was 80 feet long. Brachiosauruses liked eating water plants, too. Do you see how Gail Gibbon starts the same way you do in your, in your writing? She starts listing facts, right? She tells us how tall Brachiosaurus is and that he's one of the biggest dinosaurs that there was. Just like you started by telling me some of the things that were at summer camp. You started by telling me there was a forest and that there were baby acorns on the trees and that even one of the trees died. So you've got lots of those facts, but I was wondering if we could add some action facts. So Gail Gibbons writes that the Brachiosaurus liked eating water plants. So that is an action fact. So can you give me an action fact about the forest at the rec center? What is something you did, an action that you did in the forest? Um, I take walks in there. That is a great example of an action fact. Where would you put that in your writing? If I look at your writing, where could that go? Um, okay, so. Um, Um, so after um, baby acorns, like right before the dead tree, Ooh. I can say it. So what would you write there? Um, um, I, um, I take walks by the rec center. Awesome. That's a great example of an action fact. So I'm going to let you go ahead and edit your writing, but do you think that we could come back together and talk about this again maybe tomorrow and you could share what you've done differently and what you've added? Mm -hmm. All right. Off you go.